Man, this would be an excellent name for a cat. And now that I've mentioned cats, this video is going to get 11,000 million views because it's cats on the internet and that's how it works. There are no cats in splotches. There's just paint and puzzles and explosions. It's a pretty tough combination to beat, truth be told. Apparently the color brown itself is unstable, and for whatever reason, rainbow-colored things need to die a horrible death. I've played puzzle games with more absurd premises though, so I was able to roll right with it and get into... splotches. So, we've got a playfield with walls and some paint strewn about. You can't move the paint itself, you can only smear it around, drawing lines from place to place. Mix two primary colors together and you make a secondary color. Any schlub who's slept through an art class can tell you that. But add the third primary color in there and you get brown. And then brown explodes. And yes, because this game is apparently designed for eight-year-olds, this brown explosion comes with rather gastric sound effects. It also comes with a blast radius as the color brown nukes a chunk off the board, clearing all paint and other objects, including stuff like the keys to knock down color-coded paint walls, bombs, because if you're going to have explosions anyway, you might as well go the whole nine yards, and mines which, if touched, force a loss. The rest of the game is all about how precisely you can control your path and how effectively you can plan your course of action. Splotches might have a simple premise, blow up the rainbow orb, but the actual execution calls for a steady hand and a solid understanding of the rules of color. Stuff like secondary colors being able to cross over the lines of either of their primary colors, which is a mechanic that certainly gets play. Also, just to increase the degree of difficulty, changing direction with your smudge causes blowback that just might set off a mine if you're not careful. But the ever-present threat is if accidentally creating unsmearable, unclearable black spots by mixing two secondary colors, for which you're sorely penalized at the rather enthusiastic end of round tally. It doesn't think twice about throwing up the woots every time you clear a stage. Splotches takes it pretty easy with the tone of the game, offering encouragement and telling you how awesome you are all the time. Thing is, it's pretty well deserved. The game's no walk in the park as there's a certain level of foreplanning that's required in pretty much every stage. Since you can't cross lines without mixing colors, the order of your operations is key. Maybe you'll need to cause an explosion just to clear a path. Maybe you'll need to smudge a single patch of some color out of the way of a future explosion just so you don't lose it. Fortunately, salvation is just a restart button away. The PC's long been a system for time annihilating puzzle titles. Splotches certainly lives up to that standard. You will never look at aisle 6 at your local Home Depot the same way again. If I ever go mad, that's where you'll find me, and Splotches will be to blame.